Hey guys, it's Melanie from MelanieKHam.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are making this macrame wreath, or it's like a macrame mandala, it's often called. You can hang it up like I have right here, or you can put it flat, like on a centerpiece, on a tabletop, and, and use it as decor that way as well. First link down below, as always, has full written instructions, printable instructions um, with additional photos or, or commonly asked questions. If you aren't already, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, yeah, let's jump right in. I'm going to show you how to make it. So you need to have your macrame cord. I'm using this more twisted version, but you can use any kind that you like. This is like a three or four millimeter and you're going to cut your cord. 24 inches long. Each one of these pieces is eight strands and there's 10 total. So you need 80 strands at 24 inches. And this ring, I'll link it. I got mine on Amazon and I got a bigger one on, at Hobby Lobby, but they're really inexpensive. This is 10 inches in diameter and they have all different sizes. If you would like to use the wood beads, you have some wood beads, but that's optional. You don't have to do that. You also need to have a pair of really nice sharp scissors. That's gonna help us cut our fringe. And then some sort of pet brush. This is my cat's brush that I stole. Something with these kind of finer wire bristles. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna take our strand and double it up. Put that over the front. There's our lark's head knot. You need to do all eight. I'm gonna show you how to do this on a tabletop, but you can also hang this up on like a drawer pole or like a kitchen knob is helpful. But you can also do this laying flat, like if you wanna sit at the dining table. Okay, so we've got our lark's head knot all done. We have eight strands. Now we're gonna make this little unit. This is similar to my wall hanging video. If you've seen that one or you've done that project, this is gonna be really similar. Um, I am gonna add the bead and kind of close up the end a little bit differently. And I wanted to show you how to do it on one of these rings, which is super cute. So we're gonna do our square knot here in the center. Take that right strand, go over the front of those two middle strands, left strand over that. So it'll look like this. Then bring that left strand back behind and through that loop. And I took the center two strands, that's what I'm working with right now. Tighten that up. Same thing, but the opposite direction. So the left strand will go across those center two strands, right strand in front. And then that right strand will go back behind. Tighten that down and that is our square knot. So we're gonna do the exact same thing with these two strands and these two strands. We're gonna leave these off to the side. So go ahead and do those square knots. Okay, we've done our three square knots. Now we're going to take the right two strands from this one and the left two strands from this one and do another square knot here offset. We'll come over and do the same thing with these four strands. Now we need one more square knot here in the center. So we are going to take these center four strands and do our last square knot. All right, so we're done with our square knots. Now we need to bring over these strands that have just been hanging out on the sides. 
And we're gonna do our half hitch here. Two strands of those, two passes, I guess. So we're gonna take the far right, that's gonna be our lead cord. Take the next cord over the top and through. And holding this lead cord at the angle that you want it to go is really helpful. So I like to hold this here right at the edge of those square knots and pull up that hitch. And we need to do two of them and lock it into place. So then back around our lead cord through, holding our lead cord at the right kind of angle. And then we'll do the exact same thing going all the way down. So doing our neighbor cord, there's one. And two. Okay, we're down here to these center two cords. So this side is gonna come on this part of our piece, but we still need to do this last strand. Make sure that's all tightened. And we'll do the exact same thing going this direction. Well, sometimes the opposite direction looks a little bit funny to you. So we're gonna, this is our lead cord, this outer one. Take its neighbor under and around and then through the little loop that it makes. So under, going around the lead cord and through that loop. And then you can use your other hand to kind of push those and make sure they're nice and locked into place. And if it feels like things are kind of getting spread apart, kind of press those strands back in together and that will help. Okay, now we have our two lead cords here and we started with this guy. We wanna close up this angle. We're gonna close this up by doing another knot with that other lead cord. See, that will close it up really nicely. Okay, now we're gonna do the exact same thing. Again, this now will be our lead cord. We're gonna do our half hitch knot Again, going down and going down, I'll meet you there and we will put our bead in and I'll show you how to finish up this little unit and then you'll be off to the races to finish up your mandala. When you get down to the end of the second round of half hitches, then here's your lead cord, but we need to close it up and use this lead cord as our last stitch. Now we'll continue on this side and we'll leave the two lead cords out and that's what we will thread with our bead. Forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, but you will need a large eye, like a yarn needle or tapestry needle in order to thread our bead. It makes it a lot easier. So we're gonna thread it. We're done here. So we have our two lead cords coming out. That's where we're gonna put our bead. If you don't wanna use a bead, you will take this lead cord from the left Use this lead cord from the right and finish up with our So that's how you would do it if you want to just keep it closed and then you'll do your fringe like we're going to do in just a second. So that's how you would do that. But if you want to add the bead, it's 
it's a little too bulky to do both at one time, so I find it easier to do one at a time. Then we're going to push that up into the center. And then all I'm gonna do is tie a double knot. Actually, you don't even need a double knot, just one knot. One, two, these two strands end up being the shortest, just the way that those square knots all worked out. So I'm gonna cut it to my shortest, and then you just wanna make sure that that is uniform throughout the entire thing. So this is gonna be, that looks like maybe three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna start by using just my regular scissors, and then I'm gonna save my fabric scissors for once it's all fringed out, then that will get that nice crisp line. And this fringe is gonna be a little bit shorter than this one. Just to show you different options. So I like to do a rough cut and then I'll go in and you don't wanna mess with the fringe of cord that you're just gonna end up cutting off anyways. And use my tapestry needle, which is really helpful for this step and just kind of help separate those strands. Just really roughly, cause our brush is gonna help us Grab your pet brush if you want to. You can just leave it like this if you want. You can see how much more kind of frayed out it gets with the brush. So then from here, I would just leave it, continue all the way around the entire piece, and then make sure that they're all uniform. So really sharp scissors or fabric scissors, something where you can get, see how you can get that real nice crisp. And get that really nice crisp line and then just make sure that that is even all throughout your entire piece. All right, what you guys think? Pretty cute, right? I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.